Well, there's a beautiful way to break through the barriers of one of the most challenging conditions that develop in our older loved ones. We're talking about bringing joy back to those with dementia, and this program is opening minds through art. We want to welcome back Regina Mallet from our friends at Lourdes Senior Community. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. So what is this program? Tell me about it. So this program is an evidence-based, a world-winning, intergenerational program that allows students and people that have dementia or Alzheimer's to be creative in their own expression and have that socialization as, at the same time. Okay. So now you brought in some examples. Yes. About these. So we have different pictures that pieces of art that was created by two of our residents. And I know we're gonna have some students come on, so I'm gonna tell a little bit about the process. Okay. So when you have different neurological conditions, it's very good to have routines. So we do a routine when we first start. They'll actually go and find their resident, wherever mm -hmm. that place may be. And then they come in and we sing a song. We don't sing like Brian McKnight. But right. <laughs> <laughs> we sing a song. And then we start the process of this creation and has mm. several concepts to it. And then at each concept, they get a choice. They get to choose what they want to do with it. And that's why each piece looks different, right. even though it's the same concepts that they're using. Okay. And then to top it off, they're asking throughout the whole entire time. They're socializing with the student. They're finding out about their life. They're finding about why they're doing the technique and what they're feeling. I mean, that's what art does to you. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And speaking of students, this program does involve students. So let's bring in Allison Clancy and Logan Jacobson. Come on in, guys. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely. So tell me more about how the sessions with the residents work. What are some of your most memorable sessions? So um, I, I have Sister Sue. And she actually used to work at Lord's Nursing Home. Yes, mm -hmm. she's right. And she was the assistant administrator. Wow. So she literally, um, her routine is to walk our building like 17,000 steps a day, making sure we're doing everything right. Wow. So when she does her first part of the session. Yeah, so when I first go in there and we have to go find our residents, everyone usually goes to the residents' rooms, mm -hmm. whereas I have to walk around the building and try to <laughs> hunt down Sister Sue. Okay. She's walking around. She's on the go. Yes. <laughs> she's on the go. Okay. Never one place. So who picks the titles for the art? Um, the residents actually pick the titles and okay. it's a kind of a difficult process because what they see isn't necessarily what we see so you'll ask mm -hmm. them you know what do you want to name this and one of the things we're taught is you have to wait a long time for them to answer so you'll wait you'll wait and maybe that doesn't get it on the first try. I don't necessarily know like what, how to communicate so like well what does this remind you of? Okay. And then okay. you eventually get an answer and it's pretty cool to watch them think about what they made and what they want to call it. And there is that, like you said, the intergenerational connection. But how does this experience help with your individual career plans? Well, I am going to Grand Valley next year, and I want to go into HR. And just t um, talking with Sister Sue um, really gets me on, like, communications and everything. And I know, like, when we first went into it, we sat, were sat down, and they taught us how to talk to the residents. And, you know, you need to talk slowly because they have dementia, but when I, but while working over the past weeks, I learned that with Sister Sue, like getting in her face and talking slowly to her helps, but when I just grab her hand, that just helps her focus in on only me, and I just need to focus on that when I go to in the future. Yeah, learning how to connect with people. How about you really quickly? Um, I want to be a doctor specifically with pedi pediatrics, okay. and so what I've learned is that especially with dementia patients, they're not really always able to communicate clearly what they want, what they need, what they're feeling. So I've learned that if you pay attention to like their body language and really try to dissect what they're saying, you're able to understand them. And connect. Just take that little bit of time. Regina, any events coming up? Yes. So we actually have the art gallery to exhibit all the artwork from all the residents for all the week sessions. And it's May the 9th okay. from 6 to 730 at Lourdes Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center. Very exciting. To find out more about Lord's Senior Community Center and all of the wonderful services they offer, visit their website, lordsseniorcommunity.org.